last time on this ridiculous YouTube channel. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> one minute to go. Getting uh, getting sloppy in my old age. <laughs> All right, just doing a little supercharging. One of the uh, slight drawbacks to having an electric vehicle. But um, we're not done yet, because although that challenge was a little tricky, as you could probably tell by the uh, state of my jeans, it's not the biggest I've ever done. And uh, there is another one I've been meaning to try for a little while now, which is about 50 minutes away. And I think I've got about enough room left in the tank. So let's go do it. Well, in 27 minutes, we can go do it. <laughs> People are gonna think I'm such a scruff. Turn up with stains on my jeans. Who knows what in my beard. Hopefully I can let my eating do the talking. I should redeem me. <laughs> oh, it, it's hard to get some uh, it's hard to get some steady shots when Kyla Minogue's playing. <laughs> do the locomotion. Look at this. They're well prepared here. Right, so today I'm at a place called the uh, the New Inn in uh, in Goldgate, and I'm taking on their. Has it got a special name, or is it just like the Chicken it's Box the chicken challenge? Box challenge, which is different. Never seen a Chicken Box challenge before, but it smells absolutely delicious. You only get 15 minutes to finish, though, right? Correct. So that's another one. The one I did earlier was was 15 minutes, and uh, that was pretty close. So um, hopefully I can do it. Nobody's done it as yet, right? No, no. Nobody's finished it. All. What do you want to tell me? What you uh, what you get on this thing? So you've got eight garlic goujons, eight spicy bites, ten duck spring rolls, eight barbecue wings, a portion of messy chips with sweet chili chicken on top, garlic mushrooms, and a portion of halloumi. Are you gonna are you gonna time me or I'm something? Time me, yeah. We're taking it seriously here. Oh yeah. As soon as you crack on, we'll start the time. I will do right. So uh, yeah, without further ado, this is Baby Soon. This is the New Inns Chicken Box Challenge. Do you want to do the Do you want to do a catchphrase? Oh, I was trying to get a spectator to do it. Who's good? I'm gonna start with the goujons. You ready? You're ready, yeah? It's two. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. And it's been a while, you know, since I did two food challenges in such quick succession. But uh, the one I did earlier in, in Warrington, that I did the goofy little recap of at the start of the video, that was not, it was awkward, but it was not humongous. So I decided to go, what, about 60 miles north to Lancaster to take on this undefeated chicken box challenge. Oh, they were a little spicy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <coughs> yeah, but it's been a while since I did a, a truly spicy challenge. So I think my, my tolerance has, I mean, it was never great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it, it seems to have diminished a little bit lately. And these things had a bit of a punch to them, but uh, it's okay. I had the water on hand, uh, I'm all right. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the challenge. This one is a, it's a pretty cool one because uh, you get 15 minutes, right? So you, you don't get a lot of time, but uh, if you finish it, not only do you get the meal free, you get a 10 quid bar tab and a swanky t-shirt, which is pretty cool. If you don't finish it in 15 minutes, then I'm afraid it's uh, it, it, it's 25 quid. But uh, this thing has been attempted apparently 30 times, and uh, so far, nobody's managed to do it. Also, it comes in a box. I should have used the, uh, the Munchbox Memoirs jingle. Maybe I should bring it back for a second series. Oh, <laughs> Look at that, staff are on form with additional napkins. That's always a, always a bonus. Although, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm being pretty clean here. This is nowhere near as, uh, as filthy as the, uh, the last video. <laughs> anyway, this is a delicious food challenge. What can I say? The, uh, I, I won't itemize everything in it because the owner did that at the beginning. He, he actually sounds a lot like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, which was entertaining. Oh, I see that. That was a perfect wing. <laughs> Trade secrets here, yeah. Yeah, check out those wing eating techers. I think I got one right <laughs> out of like eight wings, but they were pretty delicious wings. Are those wings okay? Are they clean enough? Yeah. Yeah? What's on top of the, uh, the fries? 
Oh. Yummy. There's quite a lot of them. It's kind of, it's a deceptively small looking pile, but. You usually won't kill people on dogs, or believe they can kill that, and then they just simply can't do it. Yeah, I don't want to eat the paper. <laughs> yeah, serving stuff on paper, that is just, that's a trend that needs to die. That needs to go away. <laughs> I don't know why places do that. But the fries, surprisingly, mostly because they were topped with a lot of stuff, were, were pretty tasty. I think this is the key to my uh, athletic performance, you know, playing 80s music in the background. Right, let, let's not go too far. I'm not going to start every video by uh, doing a little hip jiggle to, to Kylie Minogue's do the locomotion, I promise. Although, yeah, in this scenario, it seemed to get me pumped. Anyway, <laughs> we're nearly there now. Just a couple of slices of halloumi. Hope you enjoy it. And i catch you the next one. You all right? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's five minutes left to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, I got a round of applause. It wouldn't, be a, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't ask, do you have a dessert menu? We do indeed. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's, that's a classy one as well, that. It's not too, it's not too wild, not too outlandish. 